It's older than the CN Tower, the Toronto Zoo and Roy Thompson Hall. This building has been around for the last six decades, but now its legacy may be coming to an end. This is the curling building here. This is, uh, was built in 1957 mm -hmm. uh, as an add-on to the clubhouse. The clubhouse has been here since 1912. So a lot of heritage both to the clubhouse, but also 60 years of curling. In October, curling members found out that this season would be their last at the Scarborough Golf and Country Club. Fast forward to February 13th, and the club's shareholders voted in favour of the closure and demolition of the rink. In an email to City News, the club's chief operating officer, Neil Rooney, says the club's shareholders overwhelmingly voted in favour of moving the club in a new direction without a curling facility. The board of Scarborough Golf and Country Club would like to thank the members of the curling section for their patronage over the years. The club's decision to tear down the facility was based on a decision made with Metrolink. The transit authority needed to build an underpass as part of their expansion project. In this case, we uh, need to deal with a level crossing to make it safer in order to accommodate more service. And so that required some infrastructure changes, had an impact on the uh, Gulf Country Club. And uh, we proposed uh, a solution to that, a design solution uh, to that to the uh, club. The uh, board of directors asked for a different solution. And that different solution uh, in included tearing down the, um, the curling club. The Scarborough Golf Club celebrated its 60th annual Heritage Bonds Field this past weekend with Mayor John Tory in attendance. Some members say this event was one of the many memories here. Just um, tremendously sad. Uh, you know, my, my kids grew up here. You know, they, um, they curled here from the time they were six right until they left to go to, you know, off to do it to their jobs and stuff. My daughter was married here. It has a big impact as well on, particularly on seniors who are otherwise don't have an opportunity to get out and socialize and be active. And it's a good mental st stimulation for them and a, a physical stimulation. As for the curlers here, they say they will now be looking for another facility to curl at for the upcoming season. Stella Cuisto, City News.